Hi, College Algebra student. This video is for Chapter 6.6, .6, Exponential and Log Equations. So the first part is exponential equation. When we solve an equation, we have an unknown in mind, and we want to find out what it is. So an example would be an equation of 5 to the power x equal to 8, right? So the unknown is not the base. It's not anything other than things that is in the exponent. So it doesn't have to be just x. You can have um, 2 to the x plus 1 or 3x minus 4 equal to 7. Also, that is an exponential equation. Now, uh, a reminder that to solve this kind of equation, you cannot divide. You cannot just say, oh, I'm going to get rid of 5, so I would have x, right? Divide by 5 does not get rid of the base. Divide by 5 on both sides does not. Or you would think, well, this is in the exponent, so maybe I'll do root, right? In the past, if I have x cubed equal to like 5, I can get rid of the 3 by doing root, right? So I can do a cube root on this side and a cube root on this side, that would do it. But remind you is your x is an unknown, so you don't really know what root you can do. So you cannot use division property, you cannot use root property to solve it. So what is the approach? The approach is we have used to use log because exponents reverse is log. And in particular, we can also use log property to solve this. Okay, so uh, what are the steps or what are the approaches, I would say? So there are four approaches. First is you try to see if you can rewrite both sides of the equation for the same base. So for example, if it's an equation, I want to write, I have one of them being an unknown. If um, both of them can be written as the same base, then it implies that the two exponents must be the same. Kind of like you do log base b, and so the b and the log base b cancel on both sides. Or you can just say you can cancel the base if they're the same. Um, if it is not possible to write the other as base b, then you would write them as one base, which is a, a fixed number, as an exponent of x equal to a number, or one base, an exponent equal to another exponent of x, or another expression of x. Um, just write them, clean up everything, so that it is one base equal to a number, or one base equal to another base. Then the approach is to apply ln on both sides. Unless one of the base is 10, if one of the base is 10, you apply log 10 on both sides. It's really because you can actually find the answer by the calculator. And then uh, if, the, if the equation is of, the last part is if the equation is in quadratic form of e of x, then you use substitution to solve and factor to solve. So we'll go through all these different types of equation. The first is, 5 to the 2x equal to 123, 125. So think of, um, first of all, we always think of, can I write this at the same as the same base? Can I write 125 as a base of 5? Yes, we know that this is actually 5 cubed, right? So I would rewrite the equation as 5 to the power 2x is 5 cubed. Just write the, uh, think of the number, can I rewrite it? And if they're the same base, I can cancel it is equal to 3, so x equal to 3 over 2. So that is the answer. Look at the second equation, a second example b. 7 to the power x plus 1 equal to 1 over 49. Can I write this? So this is a base and an, and an expression of x. This has nothing, so can I write 1 over 49 as 7 to the something? We know 1 over 49 is 7 of, to the power negative 2 because 49 is 7 squared. So I would write it as 7x plus 1 equal to 7 to the power negative 2, right? That's equal to 7 negative 2. So then they have the same base, exactly the same. So x plus 1 would equal to negative 2. So x would equal to negative 3. That's the answer. You usually would be able to get exact answer. Um, the more tricky ones are like this. I have 2 to the x plus 1. Oh, there's another base, but it is 1 x. 3 to the power 3 uh, to the power 3 minus x. 1 x to the power. So this obviously is not the same base. So you can say, oh, they're not the same base. Maybe 
Let's look at the approach. We'll, I'll apply ln on both sides and just solve it. Now, but if you look carefully, 1 eighth actually can be written as 2 to the negative 3, right? 8 is 2 to the third. So this is 2 to the negative 3. So I can, I can actually do that. I can actually replace this so they are the same base. So sometimes you can. So you write 2 to the negative 3, but then there is something outside 3 minus x. What happens is if you have power of a power, you just multiply them. So this becomes 2 to the power x plus 1. There is no change on this side. So this would be negative 9 is as if you are multiplying them plus 3x. It's negative 3x minus negative x is um, 3x. So now they really have the same base. Now you can cancel. You go to negative 9 plus 3x. Um, I minus x on this side. So that would be 2x, uh, negative 9 plus 2x equal to 1. And then I plus 9 on both sides. I have 10 equal to 2x. x is equal to 5. That's the answer. The last one is very easy because they're both of, of base 8, right? Already written, but so you can just cancel it right away and then you have x squared equal to 16. But now you can do super root because your x is now not in the exponent, but actually down at the um, variable level. So this will be plus and minus 16. Remember to do plus and minus x equal to 4 and negative 4. So there's two solutions. Um, the last one. So 6 to the, solve 6 to the x equal to 9. Can I write 9 as 6 to the something? I don't think so, because 6 to the 1 is 6. 6 squared is already 36. There's nothing in between. So this is the case where you cannot write the other side as the same base of the first side or the left-hand side. So you would apply ln on both sides. So it's very strange. When we solve equation in the past, we get rid of stuff, right? We root it, we subtract, or we divide. But now when we solve exponential equation, we actually add stuff. So there is there was two approaches to do this. This book tend to use this approach of applying ln, just as if you are adding ln on both sides. So this is the approach that is adopted by this book, and I will be using this from now on. But there is an approach of using log as a as a um, as a inverse function to get rid of six. To get rid of the base, you can say this is an exponent. What is the reverse of an exponent? The reverse of the exponent is log, but log base six, right? Log base six would get rid of the six. This this are the inverse of each other. So you do log base 6 on this side. And so you would have this all cancel. You have x equal to log base 6, 9, and that's it. So then you would do uh, use change of base formula. That would be ln 9 over ln 6. So this is one way, uh, primarily in uh, um, algebra, algebra 2 or intermediate algebra, they would use this. But now that we learn more about um, properties of log, we can just say, instead of using log base 6, we say just add, just use ln right away because in the, in the end, you have to do ln, right? So after you do that, then you will say, well, the x is, is an exponent. Remember properties of log? Properties of log say that if you have an exponent inside a log, you can move it outside as a coefficient. Remember, outside all the way, not here, not 6x. But x times ln x. It used to be ln has some variable inside. Now it's just ln x because x is moved outside. It's a coefficient. And this side is ln 9. Oh, this is ln 9. So now I solve for x. x would be a divide both sides by ln 6. So that's the answer. And if you put in the calculator, um, this would be 1.2263. After round to four decimal places. Remember when you do in the calculator, remember to close the parentheses before you do divide. So that means when you enter it, you say L and open parentheses nine 
close and then divide ln6 like that. Okay, so if you don't close the parentheses, you would get a wrong answer. So um, you can do this method. Um, other books do it this way. Some books do it this way, but this book use this method primarily. You just add ln on both sides to get rid of the, you don't get rid of anything. To um, Your goal is to move the x down, to move the x, x down. So you can use the vision to, to calculate the answer. Okay, so uh, we'll continue to do one more. So this one is 0.3, 7 to the x, 8.5. Now, can I L add ln right away? So I have, you know, I cannot write this as 7 to the something. No, I cannot because there is a multiple that is outside of the base. So we have to clean up first. So clean up or everything if there's add subtract of anything that is b to the x of something or b to the uh, not an expression of x so look at the base the only base is seven not 2.1 okay so you know that the only base is seven so anything outside of the base you have to clean it up divided by 0.3 divided by 0.3 can i is it a good number you if it is uh, easily Cancel, you can cancel it, but if not, just keep it, keep the exact value. Now you have seven to the X, so clean one base, one exponent equal to 8.5 over 0.3. Now you can do LN. So look at the approach that we say earlier. So look at this again. They say, um, isolate until the equation is of the form B to the exponent of X you go to C. So that's what we did. Isolate until you clean up everything. You're not allowed to have other stuff. Now you add ln. So until you have that, then you add ln. Otherwise, it's hard to move the x outside. So you apply ln on both sides. You apply ln of this function, 8.5 over 0 0.3. Um, and then now don't put in the calculator yet. You don't want to run multiple times. So now you move the x uh, by log property. X can be moved outside ln 7. You go to ln 8.5 divided by 0.3. So um, go up here. So x would be ln is like three layers of divide, divided by 0.3. And then divided by ln7. Now they cannot cancel with each other. So what you do is you put in the calculator. When you do the first time ln 8.5 divided by 0.3, you don't close the parentheses because you really want to do it divided by 0.3. But once you do that, you close the parentheses and you do divide ln7. You can have you would have 1.7185 or four decimal places. Um, so I'm going to stop here and I'll do the rest. Uh, we have one, two, three, four more, or oh, five more, five more to go. Okay, part two of six point six. Next. Okay.